it might be someone that's still kind of religious. And so you asked, you said you want to meet ex-Christians. And I know a lot of people are going to hate me for saying this, but it's the truth. The best way to meet an ex-Christian is to make an ex-Christian. And how do you make an ex-Christian? Is you take an, a Christian and you pour some enlightenment and some education into them until they are no longer a Christian. <laughs> and it's not going to happen for everybody. It's not going to happen for everybody. But it is the age of awakening and men are going to wake it up. And the way that we are supposed to protect and provide for man is spiritually. You know how man protect and provide for us here in this realm physically? We do that for them on a spiritual level. And so if you are able to awaken a man and you are able to stimulate his mind and his spirituality, he will honor you and protect you and provide for you on top of already being a good man. So don't dismiss him just because he's still a Christian. You can convert this man. You, It is very possible I have done it with men that I have not even wasn't even in a relationship with. It's it's very possible. Um, but what you don't want to do is don't force it down his throat. Don't go and try to debate him. Don't make him feel like he's stupid for believing what he believes. Just put just just add little bits of information here and there and allow him to think that he's teaching you. And I know that sounds bad or manipulative, but a man loves to know that he is teaching a woman. So if you are able to say, hey, I found out something very interesting. I found out the letter J wasn't invented until 1611. That's very interesting because how does Jesus' name become Jesus if J wasn't even around then? Like, what do you think about that? And he would probably do some research to try to get you that answer. Or I was doing some research on the slavery today and I found out in the slave codex that Christians were, that slaves were converted into Christianity. Like, what do you think about that? Like, can you help me get some more information on that? Like, just keep just feeding little things to him until he is able to do, it, do the research on his own. If you are able to get a man to do the research and start asking questions, stick with him. Continue to work with him. Continue to build with him. It is very possible that you can bring him out of being um, a Christian. And I know that sounds really bad to the people that are watching this that are Christian, but, you know, sorry. Um, so, um, just keep working with him. It, it, it is very possible that you can get him to no longer be a Christian. It's only three, it's three, one of three things that will happen. Either he will say, you know, faith before facts and ignore all the facts and get upset and start arguing with you when you try to have intellectual dialect about, dialect about it. And those are the type of men you'd say, okay, it was nice to meet you. Peace, you know, but but if it is a type of man that is a, a decent brother that is confident in himself and is willing to learn and grow, you can talk to him and, and he will start doing the research on his own. And eventually he will say, you know what, this is right, this is wrong, I'm no longer a Christian. And so you'll have your man. Or the third thing that will happen is he will become a Hebrew Israelite. You know, if he becomes pro-black but sticks with his religion, that you get the Hebrew Israelite. And I'm not going to say anything negative about my Hebrew Israelite brothers and sisters, but I will tell you this. Um, don't think you're about to debate no Hebrew Israelite and think that you're just going to convert them because it's not going to happen. It's not. So don't even try. If he gets to that point, just be like, brother, peace and much love. You my brother and and that's it you know and that's fine if you can't if, if it doesn't work out that means he's just not for you but do not just completely dismiss a man just because he's still religious it you know as a woman you are able to elevate a man spiritually okay um what else did you say you said you don't go to clubs that's good i told you that a good way to meet good good man is to involve yourself and go to places that you're passionate about to meet men that share the same passion as you um, and I think that's pretty much it. And when it comes to good men, ask for a good man, not a woke man, because good men are everywhere. Good men are everywhere. But a lot of times we are just not very attentive to these men because they just like, again, they just don't fit into what we ask for. And so we need to be more receptive to men. Receptivity is a feminine trait. When we are more receptive and more attentive to these men, we will attract more good men because what we put our intention into is what we put our energy into and that what we put most of our energy into is what will expand in our lives. So if we are being receptive and attentive to the good in men, we will attract more good from men, okay? And good men are everywhere. 
Like, for example, if you go to the grocery store and a man asks to push your cart for you, he's not trying to be worrisome. A lot of times men just like to know they can do something nice for a woman, okay? So just allow him to do that for you. You don't have to... Um, you don't have to cut him off. You don't have to be rude or disrespectful to him. And a lot of times we don't try to be disrespectful. We're just so independent. We're so used to doing everything on our own that when a man offers to do something, we're just like, no, nah, I got it, you know. But men like to know that they can help. And a lot that's a trait of a good man, helping women, okay? So just allow him to help. That doesn't mean go around and just allow every man to do everything for you, but just be a little bit more receptive to allowing good men into your life. Allow some of the walls to come down just because he's not quote unquote woke, okay? You can always get him to that level. You have the capability to do that. You can turn a nigga into a god. You can turn anything into anything you need to turn him into because you are a black woman, the original woman, the first teacher, your goddess. You know, you just gotta know it and believe it. And once you tap into that, you can you can do it. Okay, so sister, I really hope that answers some of your questions. I hope it helps in some way. If it does not, I am pretty sure. I'm almost certain that you are going to get some comments in the comment section with lots of advice and lots of perspectives from people. Um, so hopefully if my video doesn't help, hopefully the comments will help. Okay. Um, and again, make sure you look out for the next video, um, about the single mothers. It was not gonna be the next video, but it'll be one coming up soon. Okay. So that's it. Peace and much love sister.